Hi, I'm Fred. And I'm Sarah, a.k.a. the Paris Quiz Mistress. We're two friends addicted to trivia, and we're watching... Rewatching... Alias. But this is... Not, not an, an Alias, alias podcast. podcast. Hello, hello, happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to this new episode of Not an Alias Podcast, Season 2, Episode 18. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Fred. We have a new episode for you today. Are you ready to give us the recap of episode 18, season 2? Truth takes time. You have 60 seconds to accomplish this feat and go. So Sydney is sad about mom again. Irina tells Sloane, don't ever talk about your love for my daughter. Jack is in charge, despite, you know losing arena <laughs> he put a passive transmitter that he injected into her during boom boom time which is said only with his eyes sark shocks arena in stuttgart to deactivate the passive transmitter arena saves vaughn and sydney because she was about to blow up the building and so she lures them out sloan wants out to live the quiet tuscan life with emily but emily has had enough and so she goes to the cia francie keeps acting weird for some reason emily brings the cia to the tuscan villa but then she changes her mind and then dixon shoots emily which of course will have no consequences whatsoever and then mom's earrings have have a secret message to give to Sydney, which she figures out in no time. Yes, indeed. The secret message being the title of the episode, Truth Takes Time. But enough about Alias for now. Let's move on to trivia. What do you think your quiz is about? Is it about earrings? Oh, it could have been, but no, very much no. Is it about people named Emily who are dead? <laughs> Or Dead Emily's. No, uh, it was inspired by something Emily did in the episode. When she's in Tuscany, right before they have to run away from the new house that was freshly bought by Sloan, she cooks something for dinner. Do you remember what it is? A bread and vegetable soup. A ribolita, which is a bread and veggie soup. Perfect. So their quiz is about soup. Yes, I love a soup quiz. Exactly. So, so... Are you ready for uh, a nice, warm, cozy, delicious uh, soup quiz? Yes, please. Yum. Serving it right now. Question one. Residents of the Asian city of Namdan were the first to create which type of soup made of broth, rice noodles, herbs, and meat, usually beef. This soup, which was influenced by Chinese rule and French colonialism, is considered the national dish of its country. Would that be pho? Yes, it is. Uh, how do you pronounce it? I said pho. I said pho. Pho? I didn't check the actual Vietnamese pronunciation, but I think the pronunciation of that vowel varies a bit depending on where you are. Pho. That was my northern Vietnam accent coming through. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Sorry. Of course. Well of done. Of course. Pho. It's pho. 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 No, I think it's pho. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. What idiom, meaning something easy to accomplish, is also the title of a 1933 black comedy featuring a popular troupe? Five movies starring this troupe are featured in the American Film Institute's 100 Best Comedies of All Time. So it must be like the Three Stooges. There's more people in that troupe. Classic comedy troupe from the 30s who had five movies. And it's a phrase that means easy to accomplish. Yeah. And it has to do with soup. More than three members... It's a family act. I'm not going to get the comedy act. I don't know if it's a common phrase. Can you give me a hint? It's bird related. Is it like stone soup? No. Is it? No, I don't know. So the comedy troupe is made of brothers. The Marx Brothers? The Marx Brothers. And they're featured in the movie Duck Soup. Oh. Rings a bell? Duck Soup, I believe I've heard it in relation to the Marx Brothers, but not as a phrase necessarily yeah i was looking first at the movie and the phrase came up in my research but from several sources i was like oh interesting duck soup was the answer question three the name of which eastern european sour soup 
comes from an old Slavic word meaning hogweed, which was historically the main ingredient for this type of soup. Today, popular versions of the soup owe their red color to the use of beetroots. Would that be borscht? Yes, it is. It's a borscht with the red version being most popular in Ukraine, according to research again. Don't at me, please. <laughs> Just trying my best with soup. Do you think Irina Derevko likes <laughs> borscht? <laughs> she never had soup once in her life. Okay. Just like she's never slept. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. We don't see them eating much in uh, that show we don't talk about. They didn't eat that soup. <laughs> <laughs> they had to leave. Yeah, exactly. No ribolita. We just chop celery for a little while and then we gotta go. The American TV show The Soup, that was hosted for most of its run by comedian Joel McHale and focused on sarcastic pop culture commentary and reality TV recaps, aired from 2004 to 2015 and for a few more months in 2020 on which channel that was known as Movie Time between 1987 and 1990. So I remember Joel McHale, I remember The Soup, and I believe it was on E! Entertainment. Yes, uh, E! Exclamation point! Uh, news, uh, celebrities, etc., etc. Very pop culture. I remember The Soup as well. I mostly know him from Community, but yeah, it was a fun show. It was peak reality TV, and we needed someone to make sense of it. And, you know, now we only have Andy Cohen, so that's sad. Oh, we don't like Andy Cohen? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Definitively no. Final question of the quiz. Uh, question five. In the Seinfeld episode, The Soup Nazi, after Elaine reveals to the Soup Nazi that she found his recipes in an armoire and uh, decides to ruin his career, to which country does the Soup Nazi decide to move after he closes his restaurant? I don't know. All I can think of is Mulligatawny, which is not a country. Mm. It is, in fact, a soup. <laughs> <laughs> the soup Nazi went back to Armenia. He doesn't go back anywhere. <laughs> the place where he goes is a joke in itself. Like, he's a soup Nazi, and so he escapes... This is like a minefield that you're setting me up for. I don't remember. The show makes a joke about to which country would Nazi, quote unquote, move to after the war. I don't know. Argentina? Yes. <laughs> because it's a comedy show. <laughs> the soup Nazi decides to move to Argentina after uh, his career is ruined by Elaine. Yeah, it's that joke. It's exactly that joke. <laughs> That was lost on me <laughs> at the time, but now I appreciate it. Exactly. Larry David and Jern Seinfeld are a bit nuts, but yeah, fun. <laughs> Excellent. That's called reclaiming history. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is, it's called something. <laughs> that is it for uh, the trivia section of this episode. Now... Let's talk about Alias for a little bit. Truth takes time. I did enjoy that Irina had an alias as a Scandinavian biotech investor because the actress is Swedish. Oh, yeah. So did we get to hear her like real accent? Maybe. Maybe. Or at least a proper Swedish accent in English. They really let anyone walk into their safes in that show. Everybody's like, I've never heard of you, but let me show you all my DNA content. <laughs> like, okay, bit of security here. And again, now, if you show someone a safe or a server, you get shot. You just get shot. Yeah, what happened to all the tranks? I don't know. They run out of tranks. There's a trank shortage. <laughs> exactly. Maybe bullets are less expensive than tranks. I don't know. My goodness. Emily, who was brought back to life only to be discarded again. Not cool. I feel that she was used. I don't like it. Maybe there was some weird contract stuff. <laughs> Maybe she'll come back from the dead because Rambaldi, human heart. I don't know. But I believe she's dead this time for real. 
You did believe she was dead last time for real. I did. I feel like I said she would come back. <laughs> I have mourned Emily. I mean, it's a whole mom thing going on in this episode. You were my real mom. My mom betrayed me. I wouldn't hesitate to shoot my real mom. Oh, I shoot my mom, but in the arm, and then my fake real mom, real fake mom is dead. She had a lot of flip-flopping going on, though. Mm-hmm. The CIA would have kept her safe, I think. That was the intent. But she decided to flee. In the end, the relationship was just too toxic. Rotten to the core. Poor Emily. She was lost. She was lost. Didn't know where to turn, who to trust. Nobody. (laughs) Turns out. Certainly not Dixon. (laughs) Trigger happy Dixon. Shaky hands Dixon. I'm like, wait a minute to shoot. Who put you in charge of the sniper? And also, where were you for the rest of the episode? You're just here to shoot Emily. Probably going to be fine for him. Yeah, sure. There's not going to be any aftermath. (laughs) Nope. Just kill Sloane's wife. The overall arc of Emily was interesting, although the end is a bit meh. It starts with a flash forward. you made to believe that Sydney shot her mom, but actually, no, it's her quote-unquote mom that got shot in the end again. References and everything. But then I thought, why would she even go on the mission? No one would go on the mission to, like, capture their mom and maybe kill her. And they've spent the whole episode being like, you shouldn't go. You shouldn't go. I want to go. You shouldn't go. I'm like, isn't there someone in charge who just says, no, you're not going? Yeah, Jack's in charge. (laughs) Exactly. Jack should be like, I'm not letting my daughter go chase her mom and maybe kill her. Also, like, there's conflicts of interest across the board here. Oh, I mean... (laughs) Then we'll just unravel the whole show. So let's just skip it. <laughs> let's put it in the box of like, we don't even look at that. But yeah, she just should have been home. Oh, I, I just remember this is a callback to um, Irina shot Sydney in the shoulder. Remember? When they met? Like in yeah. The, oh, no, in Barcelona. No. No? The end of season yeah. one. The first time they meet. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So Sydney stings her back. All right. Fair enough. It's tied now. <laughs> In the family, who shot whom? <laughs> Everybody's tied. Yep. Um, and Dex in control, it's all fun. I mean, let's see where it goes. Now, maybe Sloane is going to go full. It was about to quit. Now his wife is dead. Let's see what's left of that uh, poor little man after all of this. Yeah, he can't go back to that villa. <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> And that is it uh, for our episode 18 of our season two. Thank you very much for listening. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Next. Hit it. Thanks for listening to Not an Alias podcast produced by Celia Brando with original music by Mad98. If you love what we do, leave us a tip. The link to the tip jar is in the description. And you can follow all things trivia at Paris Quiz Mistress. And all things Fred at Fred Me Up. Until next time. Stay nerdy and keep quizzing. 